What an epic day at Canada's Wonderland and in Toronto. So this is pretty rare for us to have this kind of an event happen. Um, but again, in my previous video, kudos to Canada's Wonderland and the police service for all that they did in protecting everyone. Um, so it was definitely a high police presence at Canada's Wonderland today. Um, police were inside the park, outside the park. Every ounce of fence was uh, being guarded. And uh, it was just, uh, and as you can see here, they even put in more cinder blocks to protect people from like cars driving up onto the paths like we've seen in, uh, you know, previous attacks, unfortunately, around the world. There were special response units on site. Um, there were what I'm guessing, I, I don't know too much, SWAT units there as well in epic cars. And uh, <laughs> as you can tell, I don't know uh, the terminology for any of that. Uh, there were police officers with large guns instead of small guns. Again, don't know the terminology or the types of weapons that they use. Um, but uh, on a more serious note, it's just great to see that, you know, uh, we're being protected in times of need and the park took it very seriously. So thank you to them as well. Uh, again, in my previous video, at no point did I feel unsafe. In fact, I felt safer than I, I typically do. Um, Wonderland's got great security with their front gate, the metal detectors and everything. So you know you're safe in that sense going into the park. And uh, yeah, just it was like definitely like the border when entering the toll booth area. There were police officers posted at the, the tolls and, you know, they'd look into your car and talk to you, which totally is fine. I'd rather that than uh, anything bad happening. Better safe than sorry. And uh, definitely, like, <laughs> large uh, groups of police officers staged in various parts around the park. So at every entry point, including the employee entries, um, fenced off gates that open only for employees, and even just fenced off areas, making sure no one jumps the fence or anything like that. And uh, it was just great to see. And uh, I, I at no point, again, you know, with the threats coming in for Toronto and Canada's Wonderland and other locations, I did not feel safe at any point. Um, so this is footage from City News Toronto. So definitely go check them out. I'll link it down below for you to watch the actual news story. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't. Bye.